Hello, friends. Today, I'd like to invite you to join me on a guided meditation. And in this guided meditation, we are going to be entering into a place where we learn deeper self-compassion. We support one another and walk beside one another. And we all understand the additional need of walking beside ourselves. In order to gain entrance into this school of learning, we find ourselves walking in a river. It is not fast flowing, but gentle. This is the river of kindness. The water is refreshing, singing. It is kind. Our feet touch the bottom of the riverbed. There are no jagged rocks here. We feel safe, and as we walk, we all understand that this water is washing us. Water washing. Each step brings pictures of old ways and dialogues that we have had with ourselves. The water washing washes them all away. The inner dialogue of impatient and condescending talk begins to get washed out of our lives. Dialogues where we told ourselves we were not doing a good enough job or we were too slow. Water washing. The river of kindness is washing us. There is a breeze of understanding that blows upon us. It smells like lilac and jasmine. This is a self-breeze, one where we lift our faces up and smile. And then we know the river walking, the water washing is done. And we climb and notice a beautiful gazebo, wooden and covered with ivy, out in the middle of nowhere. The gazebo is handcrafted. The woodwork is of beautiful carvings. The hours, days, weeks, and years it took to create such a work of art deeply touches us. We know that the beauty of what we are learning is not an instant work, but one that will create beauty in our lives forever. And each one of us must create our own work of art. We sit at the gazebo. The bench seats are very comfortable and each one is padded with a cushion, a beautiful, soft, and peaceful place. We begin to think about what it would be like to live in this place. We begin to think about how these are not typical times. We are faced with many challenges and changes and sometimes we must learn a new language in the midst of huge changes. What once felt like or an ordinary occurrence can now feel completely different. Going to a doctor's appointment is not what it was many months ago. What used to be a fairly simple procedure can now be filled with angst, and there is a need for implementing new ways. And yet, we stop. We can feel anxious or afraid. It can seem like so much has changed and that we do need new ways. We need an inner language of comfort and help. We think about how sleeping might be difficult. Perhaps you have trouble drifting off to sleep or waking up in the night. There is a dialogue of self-compassion that wants to speak to us. In the night when we cannot sleep, we can hear the soothing words that say, the world may be in turmoil, there may be conflict in your family, but you are doing fine. Keep going. Let's get up and have a cup of cocoa. Perhaps there are ways that you can relate to life differently like snuggling up in a soft blanket. Think of this as a blanket that is woven with the energy of love. Pull it over yourself in the night. Wrap it around yourself. Settle into love, whatever that may look like to you. Perhaps it is sitting with somebody you are comfortable with. Perhaps you might listen to soothing music while you snuggle into this blanket of love. We pull this blanket of love around ourselves and let our minds be filled with loving memories. We picture those who love us. Each day there are ways that we can practice our language of self-compassion. When we feel frustrated, we can ask ourselves what is bothering us and then wait quietly for an answer. If there is a knot in your stomach or you're feeling afraid, comfort yourself. Speak in kindness and in understanding. We begin to think about ways that we can respond to our worries and fears. We could begin using loving truth as we talk to ourselves. Learn to speak to yourself in the same way you would to a dear friend. I am taking care of you. I love you. 
You are doing a good job. I know this is difficult, and this time is difficult, but you are doing well. I know you are doing the best you can. As we speak to ourselves with kindness, we learn to be our own best friend. If we have been working hard and are tired, a friend would say, perhaps it's, that's enough for one day. Perhaps it's time to take a break. Learning the inner language of self-compassion helps us to feel safe. We learn to befriend ourselves and not beat ourselves up. We walk in kindness. And as we do this, we learn that we are worth loving and caring for. We realize that we can always treat ourselves with self-compassion. We may not be able to always choose our circumstances, but we can always choose our responses. We realize that we are choosing to speak in this new language, this language of self-compassion. This is a language that we know is very important. This is a language that we are learning to use for the rest of our lives. And walking back across the green grass, the trees speak and the wind together create a beautiful song. It is a song of compassion. It is a language that binds us all together.